Now I'm busy getting suspicious of what's going on here. It seems so weird. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to solo leveling episode 5 called A Pretty Good Deal. If you like solo leveling, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Oh... Is everybody talking about Jinwoo now? Bro's been training. That's the thing that's like... Since he can't, like was in the hospital. Oh, it's the nurses talking about him. He didn't stand out at first. But that's the thing. As soon as he was able to get out the hospital bed, he was training like literally down in the park there. <laughs> Bros, remember I said, look at his forearm. In the last episode, his forearm was ripped, bro. Uh. <laughs> Did you need something from me? Why does he almost sound like he's like someone else? You know, he doesn't have like that soft voice. That testosterone is up now. <laughs> Bro, he literally sounds different, like calmer. Oh my gosh. What's your snap? <laughs> Bro. For all the dudes out there, for anyone really. Like, get ripped. Your life will change. Oh, I'm Bayek Yonhu. Wow, one of the only seven S rank hunters. Crazy. So there's not that many of them, Gina. But it's interesting, like, Chenwu is, like, training every single day, right? He's, like, already living the life of an S rank hunter, if you think about it. Have you been working out? But the thing is, he and he seemed taller. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that he can just recover after he trains. That's the big difference, right? <laughs> Dude, he's like a giant now. <laughs> but it's interesting, he's still a dude. It honestly makes, like, when I see this, it makes me just want to go start, like, training. Like, I want to do his routine. So he's on 48 strength now. And he's got 8 points. Did I not say that after that dungeon, he was gonna have to look at things and be like, you know, I need to improve other places. I can't just be strong. Damn, he's going for the big brain. He's got a, quite a nice landlord, though, right? He can, dude, he's gonna get that money going now, bro. He's gonna get that money going now, bro. Oh right, so they still have to allow you in, no matter what you say. Oh, to get reappraised, so you might be able to be at least like a D rank or a C rank. Okay. Level 50 strength, 35, 29 perception, vitality and intelligence. Oh, probably news about his mother. 
penalty. Oh, reward. Wang Dongsok. Wang Dongsok. Oh, wow. So he's still known for that. The weakest hunter. いや、いい級なのは事実ですから。問題ないでしょうか。今回は we do all our raids without a healer. Interesting. Okay. At least he's going to be able to go to a dungeon where, you know, he's going to be able to prove himself. At least to this group. Then if he wipes everybody else out. Dude, look at this guy's armor. Damn, kids' family must be rich. Damn, so we're going straight into a dungeon. But I hope he isn't, you know, like, what's the word I'm looking for? I hope he isn't, he doesn't hold back and let them do everything. Damn, okay. Big gates are pretty rare. So we've basically only seen E rank dungeons, except for that one where Chenbu got his power. Dude, okay, C rank. This is gonna be interesting. So, what is he like a support mage? Something like that. Carton and Temple. Oh, uh, remember in the beginning we saw those red ants and the white ants? Oh, it is those ones. Okay, let's see what this team has to offer. A taunt skill. Oh, it's because he draws their attention. And then everybody else can. Damn, not bad. Dude, he's got some. His armor looks super cool. They're still the leader. It's probably, you know, the white one that we saw in the beginning? That's probably gonna appear. いえ。どうして上から来るって分かったんですか勘です。インスティンクト。<笑> Oh, 
Guildmaster. What? I thought the Guildmaster was that guy with the glasses that we saw in the beginning. Maybe it's the same dude because he also had red hair. Something keeps bugging me. So is he having suspicions about this group itself? Spiderwebs. Wow. It's a trap, obviously. Oh, maybe his brother warned him about the gate. すいません。ちょっといいですか。これ、ジヌさんの契約書ですが、戦利品の分配についてしか書かれてません。マナ鉱石は出土品で、戦利品じゃありませんから、当分じゃなくて、8等分するべきじゃありませんか。もちろんです
Buyek, I think. And I'm, I'm wondering if that was the same guy who had the glasses in the beginning when they called him and they were like, oh, guild master, there's been a break. But he didn't look that jacked as before. And speaking of jacked, I mean, Jinwoo just, the guy's been training. Obviously, his, his um, rewards, the loot that he gets for training is like, he's able to fully recover so that's why he's able to train all the time once he does his daily quests and like i said he's doing he's basically doing saitama's workout routine which i mean even in one punch man they were saying that you know it's just a standard workout routine it's not it's nothing crazy you know but he's doing that and then he's able to select a recovery for his reward and so now you see how it's just absolutely jacked you know he's got like he's tall as well it's like his voice has gotten deeper as well and i mean you saw the nurses going crazy but now we meet like what mr song spoke about where he said you know you get these corrupt people who i mean as i mean as we saw in this episode they literally will just leave you there as bait and then they'll collect more of the rewards i'm trying to think but like what they exactly what they are collecting because i mean there was some other there was those glow stones but is that really what they're collecting um which would be interesting because wouldn't you want to get the mana crystals that's by the boss so maybe that's just what like how they do it they raided in such a way where now they because what was it there was eight people so now it's only between the six of them and so obviously they get a bigger cut and that way they're able to you know actually earn more by taking less type of thing but i mean it's interesting to see now because you know let's be honest jinru is gonna destroy the spider but then maybe those other guys are gonna like leave or something who knows and all those mana crystals that's in that cave is gonna literally belong to jinru and I forgot what his name was i think it was like jinhu or i'm not even sure like i wasn't really paying attention to it but i was paying attention to his his outfit he had on you know he's got the rich parents and it was his first raid 21 years old so that's the thing they brought him along and he's just gonna be killed that's that's essentially what it's gonna be for him other than that really good episode i want to see exactly how things start to fuse and and we're obviously going to meet the other seven because that's what we learned there's only seven s rank and the guild master being one of them so man it's pretty interesting stuff but anyways really good episode that's going to be it for me if you like solo leveling smash that like button follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date because I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.